Hello and welcome. This is Nachi Lazarus. Today we have a question about the thinking process that goes behind creating content for social media. The actual question is, I have been thinking for a long time about the type of content that I need to create for my audience, whether it is audio or video or written content. What is your advice? How should I go about this? Well, uh, reading the question, it sounds like you've been spending a lot of time thinking because uh, literally that word is there in your question. Uh, now, um, I've been there, okay? I've been in a similar situation. There was a time when I started out, I used to uh, think a lot before I created content because that's a good thing to do, right? Because you care about your audience, you want to create good content, so you spend a lot of time thinking about it. But what I realized is, you know, I was just spending too much time thinking. You know, I was, I was, uh, what you, I was in a state of what you call as analysis paralysis. Have you heard of this? So you analyze too much that you are, you don't do anything. You're just paralyzed. So I, uh, here is a strategy that helped me. I'll share the strategy with you. The strategy is called MYB strategy. You know what MYB stands for? Move your behind. Yes, it's move your behind strategy. That's what worked for me. So I'm just going to share that with you. Uh, you know, sometimes we just have to move and just do it. You know, uh, it's good to think, you know, thinking has, it, uh, has its place. I, I absolutely agree. I've written a book. I write all the time. I create all the time. So I put in a lot of hours thinking about my content. But, uh, but there is a limit to it. Because uh, one can just keep thinking on and on about something that you don't do anything about it. So most people don't create content because they are thinking too much. So uh, there's got to be a, a, a level at which you stop thinking and actually start doing. So I'll also give you a very practical input. So here is what you could do, right? If you have, for example, let's say you have four days to uh, firm up a, a plan for a content, right? Let's, let's assume that you have four days. So what I suggest is uh, give one day or one and a half days as the limit for your thinking process. So you would say, I'm going to think about it, research, you know, uh, talk to others, uh, allow it to just uh, stay in my mind. All those thinking process that you have, uh, give it a day or maximum one and a half days. And then when that time is uh, done, when that limit is over, you either have the decision. If you have the decision, that's great. Go ahead and create the content. But if you don't have the decision, I tell you what, anyway, go ahead and create the content. Just create a video. I don't know. You know, whatever comes to your mind, just do it. You may not be completely sold on the idea, but go ahead and do it. Because only when you do it, you will know what works. You can experiment with it. Maybe next time you can change. It is uh, it is social media. You can always, you know, people are forgiving. You can always go back, create another content. You can always make changes. So don't allow the thinking process to prolong and therefore not create content at all. That's a bad situation. So have a kind of a limit and then go ahead and do it. I hope that answers your question. Well, uh, thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions on social media marketing or digital or uh, work faith life integration, let me know and I will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, subscribe to this wherever you're watching. Share this with other people who might benefit from such question and answer sessions. You have a wonderful day. Uh, I will see you next week. God bless you. Stay connected. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.